Hello and welcome to my X3 Terran Conflict tutorial. Now this is not a tutorial on how to play the game because that would just be about 30 hours long. Uh, this is a tutorial on how to get some nice shots for budding filmmakers. So we're going to start a new game and we're going to go to a custom game because we don't want no bounty hunters after us or anything. So we're just going to go straight into um, Argon Prime as a normal pilot, nothing special. So here we are in Argon Prime. And uh, the first thing you will need is Psycho's cheat package, as it is pretty much essential and will make your life a hell of a lot easier. So first things first, we're going to set up our camera ship, which is our buster. We don't want any ships with a, a nose in the, in the way, so you won't see the front of the ship. The Spitfire or the buster is pretty good for that. So we want uh, to turn God Mode on and no collisions, because we don't want to be slamming into the side of any great big battleships while we're trying to get some nice shots. Uh, we want to super tune it so we can get to the action quick and we also want to install all equipment because we will need the video goggles video enhancement goggles rather okay so now oh, also we want to clear the sector because we want to save some frame rates I'm averaging about 25 frames per second which is not good but it's it's good enough uh, X3 is a pretty demanding game as everyone really knows so let's destroy the sector Destroy sector menu, Argon Prime, everything we want gone, even the stations. We can spawn anything we want with the cheat, so we don't really need that they're taking up valuable frames. So first we're going to practice some glory shots on a... Let's get a Odin, because they're just really awesome. What am I doing? What the hell? Alright, so create ship. M1. Odin. Yes, please. We'll spawn it right on top of us. We want it to be our ship. And there she is. There's the beauty there. So let's uh, get ready for a nice glory shot of the Odin. We want to do a nice pass of the planet. Okay, so we get rid of the HUD by pressing Shift H. And the technique that I use, I never ever film in normal view. I always zoom in at least once because it brings out the detail on the ships and just gives a film quality look to it. So we're going to set up our camera. Just uh, Your best friend whilst filming is the strafe buttons and you have to be a pretty good pilot even though you can't really die but to get the shots you want you have to strafe, strafe, strafe. Okay so we're about ready to do a nice glory shot of our Odin. The effect here will look like as if the Odin's passing our camera, but really it's stationary and we are the ones strafing past the past the ship. So let's give that a go. It might not look much now, but once we add some nice music in, in the editing, it will look really, really sweet. So there we go, the Odin in all its glory. So if you want to focus on a point, I'm focusing on the center of the ship at the moment. That should just about do it for that shot. Okay, let's get one from above. That'd be a cool shot, I think. So let's position ourselves above the Odin. Let's see where we are. Uh, just just off slightly. Like I say, you have to be a pretty good pilot <laughs> positioning yourself. Right. So let's just get in front of her, just about. Where are we? Oh, too far, too far. That's it. Right, there we go. So we want to zoom in once with the goggles, get a just out of shot, and now we're going to strafe backwards. Ready? So here we go. So if we put a bit of thrust on, not much, just enough to start closing in on the ship, and we can uh, start panning on the middle of the ship. start reversing the thrust so that's a nice shot coming in the gate coming into view lovely lovely oh, go on. yeah x is demanding game sometimes it does bloody freeze or lag a bit so anyway yeah that's our top view shot so now we want to get a shot of some fighters maybe escorting the Odin so let's get that we're going to posi position ourselves next to the Odin not too close but not too far 
just about here should do it. So we're going to spawn a load of fighters. Let's go for some fours. Create ship menu, ship type, M3, four. Where are you? There you are. We want, oh, well, I'm going to choose about 50 of them, but if your computer can't really handle that many or lags, just choose as many as uh, your frame rates allow. Um, okay, so I'm going to create them. Uh, spawn them on top of me. And here we have it. 50 fours. Now, if you want to get a flyby of them, it's pretty much impossible. If you uh, order them to move somewhere, they're all going to split up and be pretty much far apart. They're not going to fly as a big group like that, so we've got to use a trick of the camera. And the uh, same sort of things we did with the Odin is a zoom in and then just strafe like this to give the impression that the fighters are moving past the camera. And we're going to focus on the Odin there, start panning and reverse thrust adds, adds a little extra and it gives the impression that the fighters are moving forward so we're going to stop that there that's that shot, I mean like I say it doesn't look much now but add some nice music in the editing and you have some really nice shots so what else can we get shot of what's that down there, let's go look at this video I think we can get a shot of that super tuned or not it still takes a while to get anywhere <laughs> on there we go yeah it's getting nice oh too fast too fast slow down god damn it yeah it's getting oh we can get the shot of the Odin in the background of this lovely so anyway let's move position ourselves up do like these uh, video billboards so we're gonna zoom in once we've got our Odin in the background maybe one more zoom that's too much. If you zoom in too much, the uh, stars in the background start getting a bit blurry and it looks pretty crappy. So we're going to strafe now across the video billboard. Well, let's keep moving the camera. Static cameras look pretty pants, so I always like to keep the camera moving. And unfortunately, the blue circle of doom can never be removed. So, Eagersoft, if you're watching, uh, it would be lovely to have an option to get rid of that. <laughs> So yeah, we've got a nice pan of that video uh, billboard. So let's stop that. And how about let's see. Uh, I think I might position, make a little shot of the Odin coming out of the gate. That'd be a pretty cool shot. So be ready at the moment. You've got about uh, five seconds for it to before it jumps through the gate. So jump to sector. I'm on prime. We want it coming out the gate where we're at, so that's uh, that one. Okay, get ready. Okay, we're going to zoom in and start panning. Oh. And then our Odin should uh, have a nice glory shot of coming out of the um, gate. Obviously, X3 is lagging a bit. There we go. Lovely shot. I'm going to pan upwards just slightly follow it. You don't always have to get the whole ship in view. It really does add a nice film effect just getting parts of it. So let's see if we can get the planet in the background as it passes. Lovely. And let's just pan off into the planet. My advice to you is if you're doing a like a two ship battle before you actually make them fight, get all the glory shots you want. So make both ships your ships so you have complete control and then only change the uh, ship that you want to be the enemy, the enemy when um, you actually want them to fight. That way you have control over it because if you select it as the enemy straight away it's going to be start moving everywhere and you ain't going to have no control over it. So yeah, that's a, that's a quick and dirty tutorial on how to get some nice, nice shots in X3. And it's a quality game engine, obviously, if your computer can run it decently, which mine just about does. And I hope to see some nice uh, shots in some films. So thank you very much for watching. Bye bye. To see what the shots look like that we made today, uh, look for the film called Terran Odin Tutorial Movie, and you'll see what the shots look like with music and after editing, and to see what we accomplished. So have a nice view.